What do you do when your client asks you to change the tone of a project after you shot it? That was the dilemma I faced recently. I had a chance to shoot a bunch of cool spots for my local chamber of commerce. This is the third time they've asked me to shoot uh, restaurant week videos, a celebration of my town's restaurants and participating restaurants. It's a it's a fun way to interact with the community, get out there, shoot a bunch of dis different restaurants. This example I want to show you is how we went from a lively, fun, upbeat um, kind of tone to a more uh, dramatic and you know, using a professional voiceover, some grading, choosing the right shots, I think it came together pretty well. But we went to a sushi restaurant, a great local sushi restaurant. Uh, this is second time I've shot there, so I knew the layout, knew the feeling. I brought an assistant with uh, another camera. We shot on two GH5s, both of them shooting uh, 4K60, which is perfect for all the uh, B-roll that you need. And essentially, you're just there to gather as much B-roll as possible. Some of the other pieces, there is a stand-up interview with the restaurant owner, but this this uh, restaurant, they just wanted uh, great shots of the food. And it, it was interesting because everybody there was having a good time. You know, they were safe, they were distant, all, all those things that we were kind of expect, but they were, they were out to have fun. Our selects are when I take the best shots from the shoot. It's basically a bin of my B-roll, so I can send it to the client. It's ungraded. Um, I sometimes put time code, this time I did not. I just send them this kind of bucket of shots for them to review and see what they got. And I always set it to uh, interesting music, you know, and the music that I feel will match the tone. I think sometimes I spend more time looking for music than than I do actually uh, editing. But selects are, are a great way to pull out all your best footage, review it all in the timeline and see it. I don't put it in story form. I, I just kind of put the best clips in there uh, with music and start bu building that. And then I'll, I'll literally just copy that project, create a new project with those shots and edit to the, um, the piece that I want, create the story, create the, the messaging. And then I grade it all the the titles and everything like that the shoots were interesting because well, me and my assistant we went to live restaurants and captured as much footage as we could um, the the restaurants had guests they were serving this restaurant we shot I think it was on a Thursday but we, we shot restaurants Thursday Friday Saturday when they were busy and and the goal was just to go in get um, get some great shots of people enjoying the food having a good time and the staff and the service and some of the safety as well as then get some close-ups of uh the food and so we broke it out in 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 this restaurant we broke it into two pieces we did first kind of the the b-roll the lively people eating uh having a good time we talked to everybody that was appeared on the camera everybody was super happy to participate and help then there were a couple tables that declined, but we didn't shoot them. You know, there was plenty to shoot otherwise. Then we switched, set up a bunch of overhead lights, set up some stuff for the, the, the food shots. Um, and what, what's easy, this restaurant is easy to film, super gorgeous looking, lots of activity, um, lots of stuff to kind of uh, hook and get your eye on. So. You know, we had these incredible crabs, these people, um, and everybody was having a good time. And we're just trying to be flies on the wall, trying to get some of these great shots that we can just steal, take, move away, um, and, and grab something. And as you can see in the, the selects, it's not really a, a, a final piece. It is a snapshot. It is not, there's no story, there's no tale, there's nothing, it's just that. But what this gives the client is they know what they can kind of choose from uh, if they want to make a change or re re rejecting something or want a different sh shot change. With the other restaurants we were shooting, we were shooting the owners talking about their experience during the pandemic. 
and uh, most of them were pretty positive, which is great, but they, you know, it gave it much more heart. With this piece, since we didn't have an owner perspective, uh, the client asked us to put uh, uh, a more sober, or without having an owner's perspective, on this piece, we, we decided to write a script uh, and I sent the script out to a great night guy named Mike Nelson who does uh, a bunch of VO for me and uh, he came back and came back with this just incredible piece and then it was all about finding the right music and then choosing the cuts choosing how to how to do the edits and uh, in this I, I did a lot of slow motion with the 4k 60 I found those frames where the the clients weren't uh, smiling there was people having a good time but it wasn't you know it wasn't overly cheesy and then I just slowed down the piece quite a bit I let the shots linger I let people stay on the shots more and I you know I obviously picked the shots that match the um, the tone of the voiceover so here's that piece our restaurants are the heart of our city providing a place where we can come together as a community Longmont Restaurant Week is about celebrating our restaurants. Our restaurants have been through a lot this year, radically changing the way they do business, adding takeout, delivery, family-style meals, whatever they could to keep giving us the flavors we love. From September 18th through the 28th, Get takeout or dine in at your favorite local restaurant. Maybe try someplace new and thank the staff and the owners for being there. When you support a local restaurant, you are supporting your neighbors and your community. Hopefully you see how changing the tone and having the voiceover really did impact the piece and you know gave it a lot more gravity and a lot more more uh, heart without it being too kind of too aggressively sad or or too enthusiastically mopey. <laughs> it was there just to just to sell the point that restaurants have been uh, in a tough time and voiceover and some music and some clips put it together plus the grade uh, the grade I you know I wanted to change the tones uh, some stuff so I hope you enjoyed this uh, if you have any questions about the process feel free to ask them in the questions or the comments and obviously subscribe for more content